that this word had been on my heart for a while. Yes. And it, it's not for everybody. Mm. It, it's, it's just for people who find themselves in circumstances in which there's no way out. Amen. It's for people who are in trouble. It's for hard-headed people. It's for people who were lost. Yes. It's for people who, who they've already passed last rites on. Mm -hmm. It's for people who they told you to get it, give it up. It's for people who know that they're guilty. Mm -hmm. It's for people who did wrong and deserve everything they got coming to them. Mm -hmm. It's for people who have given up hope. It's for people who wake up on the morning and the devil is already riding your back and you can't even catch your breath. It's for people. And the title of my sermon is The Lord Will Make a Way Somehow. I'm going to read from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 16 through 19. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea, yes. and a path in mighty waters, yes. which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. He says, they shall lie down together, they shall not rise, they are extinct, and are as quenched as tau. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now which shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. The Lord is saying to you that he is going to make a way yes. somehow. somehow. When Isaiah was, was, was writing this, they call this chapter of Isaiah 43, um, Isaiah 2nd, the second Isaiah. Because he goes in a totally new direction. A lot of a lot of his his, his prophecy is, is heralding Jesus and, and heralding Christ. But this time Isaiah goes back into time and he and he reminds them that I have brought you out of Egypt, that I have split the Red Sea, that I have defeated armies before you, and I have done these things, but he's saying to you, don't even worry about those things in the past. Sometimes when God accomplishes us, we hope we hang our hats on what has happened in the past. We think that we have already arrived. God saying that his, his blessings are new every morning. That his blessings will never run out. And, and, and that also he's saying to you that you are not too far gone. Sometimes you think that there is not a blessing left for you. But God is saying to you that he is going to do a new thing. Yes. And when Isaiah is given this prophecy, the people are already defeated. They, they sinned against God. They forgot to hold him on high, just like we do. And they find themselves in a fix. Babylon had come and, 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 and took away Jerusalem. They, 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 were, they, were, they were worshiping idols. They were doing what they ought not do. And God was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And, and, and he took them away. And he put them in a farming land on the bondage. Yes. And they did not know yes. how they were going to get out of this fix. Haven't you ever got yourself into one of those fixes where, where you don't know how it's going to come out? Huh? They have you dead to rights. You are so far from Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Haven't you ever been far from Jerusalem? And even if when you went back to Jerusalem, to, to Jerusalem, Babylon was so effective that they burnt the place down. They threw down the wall. So even if you go back to the old spiritual you, it's so torn down and, and ravaged that it, it just can't do you no good. And how you going to get out of the circumstance? The Lord is saying that I will make a way for you somehow. I'm reminded that when these people were facing extinction and they didn't know how to get the situation up, but the, the Lord raised up a woman named Ruth. Huh? And, 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 and she didn't have strength. Huh? 
She didn't need an army. Let me tell you, if you ain't got strength today huh, and you don't need an army, you don't need the things that you need. All you need is the faith of a Ruth. Huh? Sometimes you got to stand fast. You got to be unmovable because you, you, the, the fruit of your labor shall bring forth fruit. Mm -hmm. And just by standing and turning down her plate, she saved the nation. You see, the Lord is going to do a new thing. Yes. We think that it has to come with a chariot. Come on. It has to come with big money. It has to come with good health. It has to come the way we're going to do it. But the word that I'm saying to you already a prayer, because all our prayer, because it starts with the Lord. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank Don't forget that. The Lord. The second word is will. Come on. Not can, not may, but he will. Okay. Furthermore, the next word is make. That means that your deliverance has not even been created yet. Yeah. Your deliverance don't nobody even know what it's going to be. You see, yeah. the devil think he got you with the same old tricks, the lust of the flesh. Come on now, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. The lust of the eye. He think he got you. That's one trick. Mm -hmm. And the pride of life. But the Lord God will sit so high and say, "I'm going to make." Make. Make a way for you somehow. And that second word is way. Huh? He's going to make through a way through the waters that you think are drowning you. Yes. The waters through the debt that think had you. Yes. The waters of, of, of tears and pain and loss. He's going to make a way through it for you. Yes. And the last word is somehow. You don't know how this thing's going to be done. Huh? If the eyes have not seen, no ears have heard yes. what the Lord is going to do from you and every single one of us under the sound of my voice. I'm telling you, he's going to make a way for you somehow. Yes. I'm reminded of, of, of Martha and Mary. Mm -hmm. huh? And their situation, hear me now, was dead. Yes. Come on. Yes. It was dead and it was buried. And, and furthermore, what, what was it? Stinking. And if you got a dead situation today, huh? If you had already buried it today, let me tell you, huh? He's gonna make a way for you somehow. And as Mary was waiting, who she seen coming but the Lord God Himself, huh? And her heart was broken already, and she said, If you had just been here, my brother would not have died. And sometimes you think it's too late. Yes. Huh? It's gone. You wasted time. You wasted your health. You ain't got nothing left. You're a loser. Furthermore, you don't bury the thing. God is saying to, 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 to us and to them, show me where you laid him. Mm. Yes. Come on. Yes. Show the Lord where you laid your sorrow. Yes. Show God where you laid that thing that you want to forget about. Yes. Show God where your shame is and yes. show him where they, they ruined you, where they stabbed you in the back, where they left you for dead, mm -hmm. where, where, where they turned their back upon you. Mm -hmm. Show God where you had to bury your dreams in your heart again yes. at night. Show him. Show him where you had to wrap everything you hoped for in burial clothes. Mm -hmm. Show him where you had to dig a hole Shovel by shovel and, 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 and put it in there and put dirt yes. on it and then walk away. And then Jesus show up. Lord, if you just had been here. Yes. If you'd been there before they left me. Hmm? Mm -hmm. If, if you'd been here before they fired me. If you had been here before everything had gone wrong. Yes. But Jesus said, take me where it lay. And the first thing he says, take the burial clothes off it. Huh? Yes. Take the burial clothes off your dreams. Yes. Take the burial clothes off your aspirations. Take the burial clothes off the things that you thought would never happen again. Because the Lord will make a way somehow. Yes. And the Lord said to, said to them, said to him, the dead thing, the stinking thing, the thing that you had buried, come forth. And the people around did not believe it. Uh, they saw Jesus coming, you see. The biggest problem we have is what people want to look at us like. Uh, they're going to say, you're a fool. 
It's buried, it's dead, it's gone. You, you, you're lost, your finish is over. And they'll tell you it can't happen for you. Huh? But the Lord is going to make a way for you somehow. And sometimes your situation can be such that it can break even the Lord's heart. Yes, your situation can be an ugly, devastating, sorrowful thing that when, when the Lord God witnesses himself, his heart breaks for you. So if your heart is breaking today, yes. the Lord God is, is such that he feels it too. Yes. And, and sometimes where people will think it's over, God said, I'm not going to let you down. Nah. Because the Lord, hear me, is going to make a way somehow. And Lazarus came forth. Hmm? Your Lazarus is going to come forth. Huh. If he can bring up a, a dead thing that's already stinking, let me tell you, he's going to he's going to do it for your health. He's going to do it for your career. He's going to do it for your love life. He's going to do it for your broken heart. Yes. He will make a way for you somehow. But then Martha and Mary were innocent. They wasn't bothering nobody. Suppose you're like me. Suppose you're just bad to the bone. Huh? Huh? Y'all bad to the bone too. You're trying to play me. Suppose you're just bad. Suppose you did it. Suppose it's you. They said, don't touch the stove, it's hot. He said, that stove ain't hot. It's just warm. I'm going to touch it. Yes. And now you're in trouble. And suppose God tell you don't go there. Support God, God, I tell you to go someplace else. Let's look at Brother Jonah. Huh? Brother Jonah didn't want to listen to God. How many times did they tell you, say your prayers that night, huh? How many times did they tell you, thank the Lord sometimes? Yes. How many times we don't tell you, ask the Lord before you make a move? What we do? Yes. And then we find ourselves in in the belly of the wall. So suppose it's not something. Suppose it's you that's dying and stinking and it's being decomposed. Oh, yes, it can be you. And the Bible says that Jonah cried out three times and it wasn't until he, he, he admitted that, 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 that Jesus is salvation. Yes. That's what he said. That salvation is of the Lord. Read it in your Bible. That he was spewed out on dry land. Come on. You're going to be spewed out on dry land, huh? They might think they have you swallowed, huh? They might think there is no hope for you. That way was very happy. Furthermore, Jonah was a suicide. Yes, he was. Because when the boat started rocking like we all do, when he thought there was no way out, Jonah said, throw me over the side. You know, kill me. I, I don't want to go no more. I can't take this thing. It, it's me causing a problem. And everybody's like, kill me. And they threw him over the side. Yes. And they rolled away. Come on. Yes. Haven't they thrown you over the side and rolled, rolled away? Yes. Come on now. Yes, they have. Yes. yes, they have. And it was all your own stupidity that gave them all your pearls. You gave all those pearls to the swine. And they rolled away in calm weather. And, and the whale got you. But if you just remember this prayer. The Lord will make her way somehow. He does. Hallelujah. He always will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And for the people of Israel, the people of God, even though your life is still a mess, even though you know about John, even though you know what the Lord can do, Yet still you sit here this morning with a problem that's as bad as Lazarus. Yes, you have. Amen. Yet still you have an issue, Father God, that, that puts you in the land of Babylon. Yes, yes you got it. Huh? Yes, your body is wasting away by the minute. Yes, it is. Huh? And we still don't want to cry out. I'm telling you right now, yes. all you have to do is, is say any word of this prayer that I've given you. If you just know nothing else, just say the Lord. Hmm. Just call upon that name which is a, above all names. Let me tell you, Jesus said that, 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 that if he loses one sheep, hmm, he would leave the 99 on the hill huh, and chase after you. Why do you think he, he went after dead, excuse me, dead Lazarus? 
And he's going to do the same thing for you. Amen. Don't sit there worrying. Don't sit there crying. Say this prayer. Say it with me. The Lord will make her way somehow. Say it again. The Lord will make her way somehow. Though your heart is breaking, say what? The Lord will make her way somehow. Though they're going to evict you tomorrow, what you going to say? The Lord will make her way somehow. So the doctor said you got cancer and you're going to die. What you going to say? The Lord will make a way somehow. Though your children are gone right now, what you going to say? The Lord will make a way somehow. Even though you're in prison and got a life, triple life, what you got to say? The Lord will make a way somehow. Even though it's you who's the guilty culprit, so what you gonna say? The Lord will make her way somehow. If you wake up tomorrow and your heart's already broken and you can't see a way out, what you gonna say? The Lord will make her way somehow. You can't sleep at night. You toss and you turn. In fact, sometimes the enemy will come to you at night and trouble your brain. While you're resting with your own mind at night, what you gonna say? The Lord will make her way somehow. Like Sister Tana says, the ends don't meet. What you want to say? The Lord will make her way somehow. They're going to tell you you can't get married. They're going to tell you you can't get a spouse. Yes. They're going to tell you you wasted away. Yes. They're going to tell you that you're too old. What you going to tell them? The Lord will make her way somehow. If you don't believe it, what you going to tell yourself? The Lord will make her way somehow. And that's all you need to know. Amen. That's all the Bible you need. Thank you, Jesus. There's nothing else you, you need to know. Amen. It begins with the Lord. Yes. And, if, and if he can even bring himself back from hell hmm. on his own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, what more can he do for you? Yes. Huh? Huh? He can make a miracle. That's right. Yes. We sitting down and suffering. And we have not, why help me? Because we ask not. Ask not. Mm -hmm. And when we ask, what do we do? We ask a myth. Sometimes we don't even know what to ask for. Let me tell you. That stops your prayer. You don't even know how to pray. Yes. Why? Because your Jerusalem is in a mess. Like these yes. people. Mm -hmm. yes. And you're under the clutches of Babylon. You dare not raise your head and pray too much because they'll, they'll ostracize you. But what you got to say, I'm telling you today, is the power. Say it with me one last time. The Lord will make a way somehow. And Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. We lift you up. We give you praise, honor, and glory. We thank you for all the things you are doing in our life. Lord, we ask you just to help us. To help us to never forget. To, to not worship calamity. To not worship disaster. To not worship scarcity. To not worry about no frame or shape or nothing. To not walk by sight. To not worry. To not let the enemy think that you're too far gone. Yes. Mm. Yes. To not let the enemy think that you lost it already. Yes. Huh? Never. Because the Lord. The Lord. Yes. The Lord. Yes. The Lord. Yes. The Lord. Yes. Make a way somehow. somehow.